Cert already. Scudsy's there, gonna pounce on Flash out beautifully. Follows up with a double pounce. They're still in pursuit. First blood going over to Scudsy. Faction just seems to be the next target. He's got nowhere to go. Lucchesi gonna pick up himself up a kill as well. That's on the hunt being used. Strangle form will start off Sir, and it's an easy pickup for Jokerism here. 2-0-2 in this bot lane now. And here comes Novel 99 Bulldoge. He comes in with a teleport, finds and deletes Orcs. He's Com gonna compare go and teleport efficiency though. Compare it. Tolkien teleports down, helps his team get two kills and an Infernal Drake. Bulldog teleports down, gets one kill, tries to push up the lane. They're not going to get the tower because Scudsy's here as well. And Tolkien's still just pushing up. There's nothing for them to take here. Yeah, well, draw a blank using Ghost, trying to get onto Scudsy. Now, I don't know if they can take this trade. Jokerism is here and is definitely in a much better position than Factulous. Will for the Javelin Toss. Will he go for it? Lucchesi is there as well. Oh, Flash by Scudsy does Scudzi! miss the pounce. Scudsy! What a waste. As Lucchesi flashes over the wall with the Rune Prison, trying to find the burst onto Bulldoge. He's in a great position to capitalize on this. Scudsy will be the one who receives the kill as Nyx has gone up to the top lane to stop that Tolkien split push. Orcs will tank up the start of it and won't kill the minions. And this tower should go down. Yeah, that's another tower. Second of the game, second of the game for XL. Next Drake going to be up in five seconds, but XL on the other side of the map. They are going to try and answer with the mid yeah. out of here. Lucchesi might be caught. Channeling the Riftwalk already. Shockwave. There we go. Shockwave comes out, denies the Realm Warp for Lucchesi. And that's going to be the first tower of the game going down for Bulldog Esports. That's exactly what they have to do. Exactly what they have to do. As soon as you see XL rotating somewhere else or transitioning their team somewhere else, you need to be trying to react to it. There is a mountain up now as well. Yeah, Tolkien beautifully waits there, tries to isolate. Nyx, there's Bulldoze with the Exhaust. Slicing Maelstrom. Exhaust is perfectly used, and Tolkien will be able to tank that up, giving it a kill over to Scudsy. Back to some draw a blank on full retreat. Now Tolkien using the Skull Crab to get a nice little boost. Javelin Toss will miss. Undertow there. The oh, flash oh. coming out from Lucchesi. Baited! And he's going to waste the flash. Oh, Factulous coming on the counter attack. Might be able to find Jokerism. He does, but that's a wall and a Tolkien and a Javelin Spear to match as he will drop Tolkien. Looking to finish off and get the ace here. I mean, this game is the worst remake of Ghostbusters I've ever yeah. seen. Oh, uh, no, that was Ghostbusters 2, I think you'll find. Jokerism getting caught out here. Yeah, Jokerism, he will manage to get away with the on the hunt. Draw a blank, will pop the Ragnarok as well. Meanwhile, Scudsy is going to be dealing with <laughs> Factulous. There's a real one. <laughs> oh, Shockwave being used there will get destroyed by before the animation fully channels there. So the spell doesn't actually go off and do much. Does take the cooldown off him, unfortunately. Draw a blank and Bulldoge. Last remaining members, I believe, Sir is coming down from the respawn. There's nice. the flash blast move. No Ragnarok available. Scudsy picks himself up another kill and is currently dominating. That he is. 606. Because you know you can actually trade oh, Scudsy. Scudsy. Command Shockwave being used. Oh, Command Attack just falls short. Draw a blank is going to pop the Ragnarok and goes. Scudsy jumps over the wall. Sneaky little Cougar. Draw a blank going for the undertow. Does dodge it. Dodges the True Shot Barrage as well, but. Oriana actually propped the Baron, I believe. Yep, that's and the smart Baron play. went there to smart get there. Play. They both die for it, but it's smart play. <laughs> <laughs> smart play. Indeed. Well, no, this is what I was thinking. Like, w the inner flame, mm. Sir shouldn't have inner flamed at Nidley. Yeah. Like, you inner flame the Baron, and you get one shot off. He kills them. Mm. That, that's how you should be playing that fight. Now, draw blanks called out. Yeah, no Ragnarok available there. Easy pick up for Tolkien off the back of the Grasping Roots. And now they're going to look to take top inner as they've, well, they've basically got control of that now as well. Factulous by himself. I mean, he doesn't want to get anywhere near Tolkien here, even with the Iceborne Gauntlet and the Arcane Shift. Looking for those turrets as well. Nyx, what Whoa. was that? That is RNG Jesus to its full there. Free crits coming out from Jokerism just easily dismantles Nyx as Tolkien actually starts hitting that turret now. But without a mid laner, it's going to be very difficult. Scudsy, Lucchesi, they've started on that Baron. They've nearly got it down. Blue team, Baron Nasher. Go top, go top, boys. You've got options here. No, Look literally at the wave go in top. top. Look, Look at, at the, the wave. wave in top. It's absolutely huge. You've got nothing in mid lane for ages. Keep talking bot lane and just go top. There's a free tower for you. They're sending Scuzzy and all his wave clear. He doesn't need wave clear. He just needs to push a tower. There's, you don't need. To, what, what wave is there for you to clear? All you need to do is clear the enemy team, and that's exactly what they're doing in mid lane. Man, I'm going to play by play. You should know this more than that. You don't expect me to have that hard-hitting uh, analytical method. No, or I don't. Analytical media right here. I want to bring <laughs> just attention quickly to the synergy between XL there. All mm -hmm. three inhibitor towers went down within the space of about 10 seconds, so they had the push perfectly lined up. Yeah, Command Shock Wave being used. True Shot Barrage as well onto Orcs. All inhibitors are now down. Not looking very good here for Bulldog Esports. Sometimes just got to be put down, you know? And uh, Tolkien... <laughs> And uh, turrets are on to the thing. Next to turret number one is going to fall. They're still skirmishing here, fighting off 
probably just going for kills here. I think they understand it. They're slicing oh. Mountain onto Joker as a follow up with the Proto Belt. Will get him on the last sliver of his own health as Scudsy will take him out. But it's going to be Nyx who picks up Jokerism as well. Nyx is also caught in that rune prison. Scudsy jumps over, but Tolkien picks up the kill. Nexus goes down. That's going to be XL going 1 0 in his best of two series. Scudsy as well has got himself in position. He could get sandwiched here between Nyx. Exhaust being used already. Draw Black trying to get in position. I don't know if they have kill potential here. They'll definitely force out some summoners, but it appears though Nyx might have got himself into a bad spot now. Looking for some form of CC to lock this up. Tolkien's there from the side. First blood coming out for Tolkien as he catches out an over-aggressive Bulldog Esport. Yeah, Excel from actually being able to control their own vision. And it's, it's not something we see out of Excel that often, actually, is poor vision control. But this game, they're definitely on the back foot. Tolkien's going to go onto Bulldog. Oh, flashes out of the never move. Going in there with the executioner's calling, stopping that health regeneration. I think Dragon was actually yeah. started here Scudzy. by Bulldog. Scudsy's coming in. It's going to be the 50-50, but it's actually going to be Faction who picks up the Dragon as Nyx takes the kill, takes out Scudsy on his exit from that pit. And it looks like the rest of XL is going to move away. This seems like a different Bulldog esports at the beginning of this game than we saw in game one. It definitely does. Bulldog capitalizing where they can, picking up kills where they can. I have to admit, I think XL are playing pretty poorly mm. in the early game as well. They, they got a couple of kills onto Tolkien, and he's their stalwart hope in this game. Because uh, if you can get in a rally ahead, as we have always seen throughout the history of League of Legends, you can do a huge amount of work now. I, I agree. I think they did get the early turret, oh, and they got a couple of kills. And Scudsy sir. is going in there. He's used the Ragnarok, lost the resistances, immune to CC. There's the flash coming out from Nyx to pick up the kill. Here comes Tolkien. But Draw Blank does find Lucchesi. Tolkien might not be able to follow because they are entering into the danger zone of that mid inner turret. I'm surprised Nyx got out of that alive there, being aggressive with the flash to pick up that kill. Well, Scudsy really had nothing left. Mm. And because Draw Blank was able to isolate Lucchesi off towards the backside, he was actually able to take him down pretty quickly. So That's a little bit aggressive from Draw Blank there onto what is, quite frankly, already, it's a pretty fed Tolkien oh, at the moment. What, what? As he goes back on there, Exhaust is down, but that levels the playing field for Nyx to be able to pick up the kill of his own. Factualist may have to 1v2 her under the turret, but there's no wave to let that happen. Like, if, if you go into a fight you think you're mm. going to win and you lose it just like pure no mm. no extra mechanics really no extra special plays from anyone you're getting baited into that fight by the enemy guy because he knows he can win and you know you can lose uh, speaking of getting baited orcs just got destroyed yeah but they get the dragon infernal is big here uh, they've got tolkien now three and one on that earlier trinity force and execution is calling finished very good spot for her she can split push into any of the enemy especially that Swain, because he's only just finished that Rod of Ages 16 minutes in. Uh, actually, he might be sitting on one or two stacks on it. I think he's only just got it. Yeah, he's no, no stacks it. on it at all at the moment. So that's a long road for the Swain. 26 minutes is where he's looking. Actually, they said Factualus go bot lane, which is such a brave move here. Um, brave, some call it. I wouldn't call use that particular word, as you can probably see what's going to happen here. As Lucchesi does manage to blow up the level 99 bulldozer sir will also drop off the back of jokerism going aggressive that kill finally picked up in the bot lane as nix managed to get a turnaround onto scudsy scout of the week being used to lock him down pick up another kill as draw blank is picked off in the side as you can see tolkien done in the bot lane goes on a little bit of an adventure up to the mid lane and finds himself another kill the question is that if you're going to restart this baron you have to do it straight away so oh, gets picked up ultimate combination coming out from lucchesi and jokerism will blow him up as draw blank has left jokerism Running through a loop as Lucchesi has to flash Good out the flash. never move. Beautiful as they try and cut through Bulldoge. I don't know if they can keep this fight going. It's to 2v4. Scudsy pops to, Ragnarok. Hey, you just keep this going for as long as possible. Even if you sacrifice yeah. a couple of kills for it, Tolkien gets inhibitor tower out of this. Lucchesi can just keep pushing. Yep, there you go. Cocoon just outside of the move of never move. He's trying to oh, enjoy the Oh, Nick flashes onto Lucchesi. Great does way. drop the sky to the skies and gets himself another kill. Have they bought enough time here? Orcs can't oh, get it. Oh, Orcs stops, stops their cancellation. It was enough for Tolkien to get that bot inhibitor tower. I think I haven't got teleport on Tolkien yet, so they're just going to go for it, assuming the advantage. Sir, they're going very low at the moment. But look at this. Strangle Fawns in the center of the fight. We'll lock up Bulldoge. There's nothing to do. No grievous wounds. As Scudsy runs in, trying to find a kill, but Draw Blank will pick him up. They have nothing to deal oh, with Bulldoge, but he will get taken out by Scatter of the Week. Nyx falls to Auxiliary as well. Meanwhile, Tolkien's still in the bot lane, having a whale of a time at the moment. Gone trick-or-treating, knocking on some doors and taking some help. But Auxiliary has found a razor blade in his apple this evening as he falls to Sir. That he has. He does, he does go down to Sir. Um, 
Apples in razor blades. Oh, sir, though. Find a double kill. Oh, the double double coming out for sir. But the Jokerism will be the one to end that right there. Tolkien decided he's going to move on to the mid lane inhibitor turret now. I don't think anyone wants to try and stop him. No, you can't stop him. This is going to be double inhibitor. And this really stops Bulldog being able, able to go for a Baron again. It's what we were talking about. Although it looked like a very even game, it's still 26 to 26. They've got extra towers. They've got two inhibitors now as well. And they've got Tolkien at 9 and 2 with a GA, a Yumu's, a Trinity Force. That Execution is calling still sitting there as well. But the problem is, oh, Sir is dead. Yeah, Sir just problem. gets popped by Jokerism. He's been doing that quite a lot. You can see he did it onto Factulous. But here goes the fight. Stranglethorn's being used to separate the fight. Yet again, Repel will get Draw Blank out there. Tolkien looking for Factulous, does find him, but turret range will play a massive factor in here and take him down. Bulldoge is, will be able to take out Auxiliary. Tolkien does finally get locked up. He has had his GA popped and so will his life as Jokerism trying to turn it around. And what do you know? He can do the damage that he needs to. Oh, Nyx. As Nyx, come on, just drop the hammer on him. There we go. Here He's comes Lukazu. He basically Goomba what stomps him. <laughs> Scatter the weak will be enough damage there. Blank will drop it up, but it doesn't matter. He's just Repel. He's just going to get orbed to death. Pops the mastery just to let us know what's up. And the top lane inhibitor will fall, which completes the set. Exposed base for Bulldog Esports. Bulldog Esports. Bulldog Esports, in fact, <laughs> as you say. Well, it's going to be a win here for XL. They do manage to finally close out the game. A very, very messy affair, in my mm. opinion. Not the level that we expect to see from XL, perhaps. Thought because the first game went, just finish the game, Lucchese. I've got trick or treating to do. Finish it, <coughs> please. I'm going ill after this. Mate, so am I. I literally, He's just looking for I wouldn't kills be surprised there. if I have some weird and wonderful this. disease after watching that game. Exotic. <laughs> it's uh, an analytical media indeed.